Hi, I'm Old North Specialist Dr. Jackson Crawford. I teach at the University of Colorado Boulder, previously at UC Berkeley and UCLA. One of the questions I'm asked the most is, how can I learn Old Norse or modern Icelandic perhaps? And so I'm gonna talk about some of the resources that I know that are out there that are good, uh, as well as some resources that might exist in the near future. Personally, I learned from An Introduction to Old Norse by E.V. Gordon. This book, which I believe the original of which is from the 1920s, was revised in the 1950s, and uh, is from Oxford University Press and still available today. It includes a cool acknowledgement of J.R.R. Tolkien from before he was ever famous. And uh, just note that it assumes that you already know all of the grammatical terms like nominative, accusative, genitive, dative, etc. It essentially assumes an audience that already knows Latin and or Greek and or German. But for such an audience, it's an excellent resource. There is also a new introduction to Old Norse by Anthony Falks and Michael Barnes that is from the Viking Society for Northern Research. This does not assume the same amount of grammatical knowledge beforehand, and it has a, uh, it's, it's in a three-volume set of grammar, reader, and glossary. And uh, the grammar includes different exercises to help you practice the uh, different grammatical points as they're introduced. And I think that the grammar is introduced in a pretty logical way. Uh, that series of books is available for free as PDF downloads as I speak today in uh, June 2018 from the Viking Society of Northern Research website. So that's a good resource uh, uh, to check out. And one of the best is available now and it's free. Another book that some people like is uh, Chapman's Graded Readings and Exercises in Old Icelandic. Uh, that is graded as in they get gradually harder, not as in he will give you a grade. I'm pretty sure he has passed on. Uh, that book is interesting. It goes. It has a, an organization I don't like too much, but the way that it does uh, progress from more, uh, more elementary to more advanced grammar points uh, works well for some people who struggle a little bit more with the grammar, and it includes exercises too. Uh, another present tense resource that is not quite complete are my own videos in a playlist on this channel of Old Norse lessons. Uh, there was a first draft of those lessons that I was putting together in 2016, uh, some of which are still up, but those were largely replaced in 2017 uh, by videos that aren't meant to be watched in sequence, but are meant to explain one particular subject in some depth. So like I have a how nouns work one, how verbs work one. Uh, that kind of thing. That won't teach you fluent Old Norse, but it can perhaps explain details of grammar uh, in my own unique way, whether that's better or worse for you. I will also eventually probably produce an introduction to Old Norse of my own. Uh, Hackett Publishing Company, my publisher, has expressed a lot of interest in this, but I also have two more books due uh, between now and when I could do that project. So that is something that would still not exist till the early 2020s. Um, certainly no earlier than that. Uh, Todd Krause at the University of Texas is also producing a uh, textbook in Old Norse. I think that was due out this year and has been delayed, but uh, it should be out sometime in 2018. And he certainly knows Old Norse well, so I can believe that'll be a good resource too. Now keep in mind with online resources that Old Norse is, is grammatically very different from just about any other language you could possibly know unless you're a native speaker of Icelandic. Uh, it is a case-based language, so you cannot simply look up uh, every word that you need in a dictionary and, and string them together in the same order they would be in English. A lot of times endings have to change, vowels have to change, sometimes the root of the word changes depending on how it's used in a sentence. So you can't just look up word by word and actually construct something that looks like Old Norse. You have to learn the grammar uh, pretty well from the inside out before you can try to construct something in the language. So be very very skeptical, skeptical of online resources because I've seen many of them that are put together by people who have nothing more than a Google Translate, this word equals this word, uh, knowledge of Old Norse. All right. As far as learning modern Icelandic, uh, there's a lot of good resources. The, uh, the University of Iceland has a website called Icelandic Online that, uh, again, as I'm talking in June 2018, offers a lot of free lessons uh, you have to create an account, but the account is free, and uh, those progress from more elementary to more advanced topics as well. Then there is um, Daisy Neiman's Colloquial Icelandic.
that is a set of a book plus audio files available either as CDs or uh, MP3 files, depending on how you acquire the set. And many people say uh, that that has been a helpful way to learn uh, exactly what it sounds like, colloquial or conversational Icelandic. It also explains the grammar well. And then there's a competing tile titled by Hildur Jonsdottir uh, called Teach Yourself Icelandic in its older versions and Complete Icelandic in newer versions. Some people like that as well. I found it a useful way to learn um, more of the conversational stuff that I missed out on, of course, since I started Icelandic by learning the grammar. And uh, as far as a complete resource on the grammar, I recommend Stefan Einarsson's uh, Icelandic Grammar Text Glossary. It is a book from World War II. It was meant to teach American servicemen Icelandic when the U.S. was occupying Iceland in the Second World War. Uh, so it is pretty old-fashioned, but it explains the grammar in more detail than anybody could ever possibly need, which is what some people want, including me sometimes. So that's a good resource. On the modern Scandinavian languages other than Icelandic, uh, there's more resources than I could possibly get into. But I have found that the Teach Yourself series uh, now called the Complete Series, Teach Yourself Norwegian, Complete Norwegian, um, as well as the Colloquial Series, Colloquial Norwegian, uh, those titles tend to be high quality, so uh, give them a try if you haven't yet, and of course, try to meet people who are native speakers of the language and practice with them, because the only way to learn a modern language well is to use it. The only way to learn an ancient language well is to read it all the time. Practice makes perfect, and uh, I hope this has been somewhat useful and informative for you. And from beautiful Colorado, I'm wishing you all the best.